Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the MB339 and we're looking at air to ground rockets. So let's get set up, click on our guy here, armament page. We can carry rockets on pylons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So if we start on the inner pylons first, 3 and 4, right click. Well, rockets, we can have the LR25 pod which contain 25 ARF-8 Mike 3 armor piercing incendiary rocket so this is a pod of 25 small caliber rockets armor piercing incendiary and here is the same but we've got high explosive incendiary so for armor and for troops or very soft sim skinned vehicles we can also have the matra rocket pod it contains 18 medium diameter rockets the same one as you get in the mirage 2000 i believe they are high explosive so we're going to take high explosive incendiary because they make the bigger bang so that's 50 rockets uh, low caliber next we're going to go for pylons two and five and we're going to go rockets so we've got the same ones but we've also got the addition of the Lao 10 pod with four times zuni high caliber mark 71 high explosive rockets so these are the really big powerful high caliber rockets they're like really cool stuff we've also got this here these are actually bombs so just ignore them i don't know why they're there but we'll take the zunis here all we've got left to take is of course the mattress there so we've got 36 mattress 50 low caliber and eight high caliber zoonies so okay let's save that up and in we go in the cockpit so let's start getting everything set up first of all the armament panel if we zoom in down here to do anything we'll need our master arm on and then all we do is select the pylon or pylons that we want to use so if we wanted to use for instance the inner pylons only i could press them like that or i could just press the left or just the right or multiple pylons at once so we'll use them in sequence so we're going to use the small caliber ones first fire them both at the same time do we want to fire one rocket from each pod at a single button at a single fire press of button is that single or do we want to fire at a single button press all of the rockets in that pod uh, and just for fun let's do a ripple so we'll do all of the rockets in that pod fire the weapon we've just got that there fire weapons so that just leaves aiming so we've got our gyro sight up here right click to turn it on this brightness completely clockwise to make it as bright as we possibly can in terms of the profile of the running it's the same with the guns according i'm just going to pause that and give us a bit more talking time according to the user manual for rockets and for guns the ideal dive angle is 5 to 15 degrees and we can use our adi to determine that so that's level that's 10 degrees that's 20 degrees so we want to dive between five there and 15 degrees there ideally speed generally speaking as fast as you can the faster we're going the less of a target we are within structural limits uh, realistically with armed up i usually say about 300 to 350 kias is ideal we want to dive from at least 5,000 AGL, 5,000 feet AGL. You can go as high as you want, really, but 5,000 will be your minimum. So we've got plenty of time to align. Uh, so we're shy here. What we'll do is we'll go round, head out a few miles, come back in 5,000, 6,000 feet, and then go in for an attack. There are two air to ground reticles we can use if we cycle through them with this button here the select reticle we have this reticle one which is the basic air to ground with the roll slaved to the aircraft if we press it we get the second one which is air to ground but this is roll stabilized so the roll is not caged to the aircraft and three and four are both air to air sites only as you're aware obviously these rockets have a certain amount of dip in them so we have to aim above the target to give it a certain amount of vertical lead. Now, I'm going to assume that you've watched the gunnery video before watching this, so we don't have to talk through it all again. There are two ways of compensating for that lead. Either we use the Miller dot theory, which I don't have access to at the moment, so I can't go through that, or we use a depression table, which for the same reason as the guns, we do not have depression table at the moment, but it would mean diving a certain angle, a certain speed, and releasing at a certain altitude above the target. We would get from our depression table a certain depression in mills what we would do then is use these wheels here to set the depression in hundreds tens and singles of mills what that would do is move the pipper down it would force you therefore to aim above the target and in that specified dive profile it would mean that you could compensate the dip that way now again we don't have any depression tables so we can't do that so we've got to do everything firing by eye basically which means we're going to leave this pipper here at zero mils depression 
and we're going to add whatever dip we think we have to by eyes. That's all we've got at the moment with this aircraft. But even with that in mind, I think we'll be okay. So we're going to pause, unpause, sorry. We're going to head away to get some distance and some altitude and then dive in at the correct profile. Okay, we're pretty much up at altitude. We're going to turn into the target now. Our barometric altimeter is zeroed to the ground level down there. So it is AGL above target pretty much. Turn in, we're going to try and achieve our 5 to 15 degrees dive for descent. We're going to get our speed up after this turn. What we're going to do is aim at the bottom of the beginning of the convoy, if you like. And then as we press the trigger once, it will ripple all of the rockets off and we'll pull the nose up so we can spread the rockets and ripple them along the convoy. So just check our dive angle. Dive angle is good. It's just under 15 degrees. Yep, that's okay. I'm going to zoom in now for maximum resolution. Got no way of ranging, obviously, for the reasons we explained earlier, but we can live with it. And we are going to right ripple. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Look at that. Caused exactly zero damage. Possibly because I took the high explosive rather than the armor piercing. Uh, that's probably why. Or oh, none of them hit. Probably the first reason. Right, jolly good. Uh, next, we'll go to our Zunis, which are our high caliber, very high powered our explosive rockets. We're going to go on single because we want a bit more kind of sniping control with them. And we're going to head up to the same profile and dive back in. Okay, pretty much up at altitude. And it turns out I did actually kill some of them. Look. Oh, two. I'm going to turn in. Let's just double check if everything's ready. And it is. Got our speed up. Got our angle. Oh, they've all spread. That's annoying. We're going to have to pick them off one by one now. Okay, check our angle. Angle is slightly steep. We're just over 15, we're about 16. 16 degrees, I think we can live with it. Zoom in. Right, stop picking these guys off here. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Remember to trim neutral. Well, I didn't do a very good job at um, compensating for the dip there, as you can see. So the first ones. Uh, crashed underneath but let's go around again they've got a bit more range and a bit more altitude this time so it should make it a bit easier dive to anticipate the uh, 5 to 15 degrees so where are we that is about 10 degrees there 12 degrees about perfect find our targets who are we going for who are we going for there's like a little bunch of them there no how about these guys down here right aim above Not enough lead. Let's try again. Ah, uh, damn it, we're running out. My bad. All right, well, that wasn't very well done. Uh, let's go to the mattress. Let's go around again. Okay, same type of profile. Getting up the speed. Diving down. That's about uh, 8 degrees, 9 degrees. So we're going a little bit shallower this time. Speed is good. Neutralize the trim. Speed up a little bit here. All right, let's see how these mattress fly. Double check we're selected, and we are. Matras, uh, they're quite uh, high velocity rockets, I remember, so I don't think they're going to have as much dip as the um, as the Zunis were. Let's have a quick long shot. Yeah, you see what I mean? They don't dip very much, for whatever reason. So we can fire on a little bit of dip, so just a little, little bit above. Ah, not very good, am I? Oh, I've got one there, look. Well, let's fire the rest of them on Ripple, because why not? It turns out I'm not very good at firing rockets. Oh, no, yeah, we did get them. We did get them. Probably hope so. I put enough ammo into them. Right, let's make something very dead. Profile is good. Who wants to die? What about this guy here? Just some. Oh, he's got to have died. He's got to have died. Right, that's it. So that's ripple and singles. Like I said, uh, we've done the depression tables at the moment, but hopefully we'll have them soon, and then we can do some better aiming. Otherwise, I hope that helps, and see you later.